shit don't matter to me, man. I don't want to look and talk about no amateur shit. Shit don't matter to me. Fuck like amateur boxing right now. This is professional, unified, undisputed championship. We can't talk about what happened in the amateurs. That don't, that was, that don't matter. What did happen? Uh, Jamel, uh, Danny Edwards is behind the gloves. I uh, wanted to ask, in the last two two years, basically, since your longest feat as a professional, what do you feel that you have learned the most and been able to develop since that and, you know, be able to get here now, not just get your title back, become unified champion, and now fight for Undisputed come Saturday night? Well, those are, this is how God's plan is. I can, you know, put these things in order, but, I, you know, shout out to my great management, Al Heyman, for being able to put me, and shout out to the WBC, because I want to say, the WBC put me right back in the fight, right after, you know, the controversial loss that I took, I've taken. They put me right back in there to, to redeem myself. I redeemed myself with the knockout. Came back with Jet Fuel, knocked out the Coda guy, knocked out the Rosario guy. So then, you know, we 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 on this roller coaster. We set it moving. I mean, there's no stopping this show. Hola, ¿qué tal? Eh, bueno, buenos días. Desde Argentina para hacer marcharlo. Te quiero preguntar cuánto paga de patente por la camioneta negra. Uh, what, what paga de uh, well, uh, well, the question is here for Brian Castaño, and uh, the question from uh, Lucas Tolosa here is: How much are you paying for the for the black license plate in your black in your, in your black SUV? Okay, hello. ¿Qué es lo que Sí, la pregunta fue esa, ¿cuánto paga de patente y de seguro? Sí, la pregunta es para Charlo. Ah, la pregunta es para Charlo. Ah, claro, para Charlo. Oh, sorry. Uh, how much? Sorry, my bad, my bad. Uh, the, 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 and the question was for Charlo, not for Brian. Uh, how much are you paying for that uh, black uh, black license plate in your SUV? Uh, that's my name, man. I, I, I probably pay whatever the registration is. Um, <laughs> but I own the car that I have, though. I own them. Thank you. La la respuesta era de que o sea es su auto y que o sea no solo no solo paga sino que también es dueño de ese de ese auto. In the back, in the back there. Uh, this question's for Jamel Keith Hiding from BoxingSeat.com. Jamel, what did you think? I know he's obviously a southpaw, but what did you think of Ryan Castaño's performance against a fighter you're very familiar with, and that was Landy Lara? And did you think that he won the fight? Um, I, I, I don't necessarily want to say uh, that, he, that he won. I, I feel like Landy Lara made a point that fight off by edge. Uh, Ryan Castaño did put a lot of pressure towards the end, and I feel that. Um, the punch rate wasn't where mine is at. The power wasn't where mine is at. So those fights, those are the fights that make a difference. And a uh, question for Brian also. Brian, how do you think Jermel compares to the best fighters that you fought in Michael Soro and Eris Landy Lara? Uh, bueno, Brian, ¿cómo crees que Jermel se compara a grandes oponentes que tuviste en el pasado, como Eris Landy Lara y como Soro? No, solamente en la altura y el alcance. Creo que son boxeadores diferentes, pero eh, cada uno con su característica. Lo único que lo relacioné fue en la altura y en la envergadura de brazo. Just in height and reach, either. Those will be the only similarities that I see between Jermel and, and the two opponents that you mentioned. The rest, Jermel is his own man and a uh, tough opponent to fight. Jamel, uh, you know, Brian, he's, he's made no secret, unlike many fighters, about what his game plan is, that he's, he's coming to bring the pressure. But ultimately, even if, you know, you win rounds fighting like that, is he walking into too much firepower trying to beat you that way? Um, we, we, we shall see Saturday. That's a question that I really can't answer. Um, uh, but, but, but most definitely it's dangerous just to walk into shots. It's dangerous just to come 
any anything is dangerous just coming straight forward. Uh, most of the opponents that are hard that come like that are pretty much uh, mentality. And, and also, Mel, uh, you know, if you bring as much intensity uh, into the ring, there's an anger, you got an edge when you come into the boxing ring. Where does that come from? Why is that your I put my life on the line. I have to feed my family. I got a large family. I got a lot of things that I need to to, to, to get understood in this boxing world before it's over. And I, I wanted to fight the best fighters. Uh, I never wanted to be a guy looking around, trying to make my, my name and my record up. If you go back over my box record career, you can see that I've always faced tough opponents. Even when I was with the Boy Promotions, they always put me in there with guys that was tough, and I guess they wanted to see if I could pull it off, you know, like, um, you know, my mindset was always stay down so you don't get cut, you know, like the NFL. They gotta, they gotta work harder than the next, person because they got somebody trying to take their position and that's kind of what this is always about for me. I, I kept that mental and I keep that drop going and, and um, uh, now I'm here but I got a lot more to prove you know um, in, a, in a world of boxing with words open. Jabal, my name is Joel Villanueva, I'm your cut man. I was with you in New York City when you fought against Harris for the first time. I know you won that fight. I just want to make everybody know that you haven't lost. You've never lost in my eyes. Thank you, San Antonio. Joe, you from San Antonio, so I appreciate you coming. Thank you. For sure. I don't feel like I lost, but uh, yeah, you know, I, it's boxing. So there we have it, folks. Again, Saturday night, Showtime Championship Boxing, 9 o'clock Eastern, that is 6 o'clock Pacific time, three fight card. You do not want to miss it. Uh, you want tickets, you got to go. Super shot. Right. 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 Right